Hello Pisces, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this video may resonate for you if you happen to have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, your Venus signs, heavily in your houses, or if you happen to be cross-watching for a Pisces. Welcome to my channel. Those of you who are brand new, my name is Angela and a warm welcome back to those of you who have returned. Let's not hesitate. Let's get right into the, let's get into these messages. Let's see what's going on for you Pisceans at this point in time. This is going to be for the Pisces. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. Pisces, as you listen to this message, I invite you to listen to this message with an absolute open mind and understand that there may be parts of this reading that may resonate for you and parts that do not. Understand that what does not resonate for you may resonate for someone else. Let go of what doesn't make sense for you. What doesn't resonate, let it go. And what does, consider it. Take that in. Understand that not everything unfolds at the same time for everyone. So even though you're watching the reading and it may not make sense at this very moment, it may be something that plays out a little bit longer. Because as I stated, not everything happens at the same time for everyone. Um, feel free to check out the videos for your sun, moon, rising, your Venus sign. And it's a given that with a general reading, that the message can go vice versa. So don't get hung up on the fact that it may have been the other person that may have done something that I happened to say in the reading because I'm letting you know beforehand. Yeah, it can go vice versa. Let's get into this. Let's see what spirit has for you in this point in time. Pisces, are you beating up on yourself? Some of you could definitely be indulging. Um, maybe on junk food right now. Maybe you're binging right now to kind of get through these times. And this is why spirit is encouraging you to make sure that you um, are healthy and balanced with your approach. If this is what it is that you're putting in your body, if this is what you're watching, yeah. Take good care of yourself, your mental health, your spiritual health. This is, it's definitely going to be needed in this point in time. Um, I feel like your intuition is, in, um, is very heightened at this time. I feel that like you're very, you have a lot of psychic insights. This is a wonderful time for you to trust yourself to make the right decisions, to take the right actions in your life. I feel also that there's an opportunity coming up that you might be speaking the truth to somebody because I feel like there's someone that you want to communicate with or someone that could be bringing communication to you, Pisces. And um, it could be a family member because I feel that the angels are definitely surrounding you. The angels are encamped around you, encamped around your family at this time. Um, I feel as though you may have insane chemistry with somebody. And um, I feel like, or this could be something new that you're developing with somebody because I feel like somebody wants to date you. You definitely be um, very desired. A lot of people may want to see you and may be interested in you. Let's rewind. When I was talking about decision making, this is definitely the time for you to use your intuition, to trust your intuition over logic. Your logic may steer you wrong right now. Maybe because you're not thinking clearly or your headspace is just cluttered. Listen to your intuition. You had an emotional response to something. I feel like, yeah, you responded to something in a very emotional way. Possibly when there was an abrupt ending between you and someone in particular. I feel like you're going to be reuniting with somebody. But someone in your scenario may feel that this situation between the two of you is absolutely, absolutely over. And that they don't want to try this again. Or this might be what one of you is thinking about. What you might be assuming that the other one wants. We're having to do with an earth sign, possibly a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Pisces, you may very well have earth in your chart. They may be feeling this way about you. They may feel that you don't want to start over. You're just not interested in this anymore after an abrupt ending may have happened. We were talking about trusting your intuition. That brings me to the overall energy of your reading. 
which is answers are within. You may be searching for the answers external from you. Externally. They're not external from you. The answers are with you. What it is that you're looking for is already with you. Crossing energy is transformation. So maybe right now change is a bit hard. You might be adapting to some changes right now that could be a bit difficult for you to... Um, these could be abrupt changes that you're kind of rolling with that are difficult for you to kind of um, soak in. Ten of Swords. I wonder if this is self-inflicted. Are you causing your own anguish because of your the way that you're thinking right now? Transformation is the crossing energy. Is change very difficult for you? You could possibly be going through a very difficult time. I did say emotional response. So something may have caused you to have an emotional response. And you're feeling very hurt about something. Or this could be past tense. We did say that there was an abrupt ending. This could have been recent for you guys. This could have been with an air sign. We have the Queen of Swords. This could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini that maybe you had an abrupt ending with. I see cheating and I see an absolute ending. Um, and I see a lot of spiritual gifts for you, Pisces, that you're going to be putting to use, that um, you're going to be celebrated for, appreciated for. There's this earth sign we were talking about just a moment ago. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be significant to you. No doubt. There was a third party, possibly with this king of wands. You have a fire sign who may be coming to dish out this honesty, this honest conversation with you. After you guys may have had a, a, a why am I hearing brawl? I don't feel like you guys may have gotten physical, like a physical fight. I don't know, but I heard that for a reason. So for some of you, maybe you guys did get into a physical fight. Maybe you really did have it out with this person. You guys duped it out, and I feel like somebody wants to come back and fix it. They want to mend this. Give me just a moment. Let's see what they're bringing to the table. What are they coming back for? You ended it. Oh, some of you are not sure. I did say you have a lot of spiritual gifts. Several of them. Could be a lot of different... Um, be looking at some new doors to go down when it comes to your career you might be um that abrupt ending could have had everything to do with a job and now maybe you're trying to figure out what it is that you really want to do you're trying to narrow it down to figure out what it is that you want to do professionally and um, i feel like that's something that's on your mind so it was a love relationship for some of you this may resonate with matters of the heart some of you are definitely, what do I want to say, sorcerers? You understand energy manipulation and you understand how to create what it is that you want in your life. Now with that, create the type of circumstances in your life that you want, Pisces. The things that are going to work for you, not against you. Yeah, I see at least that's ending. Some of you, your house could be for sale. You might be searching for a new home. Somebody has some explaining to do. Self-care is definitely going to be significant. And there's a creative project that you're working on. Yes. All right. Make sure that you keep your paperwork in line. Um, did something get lost? Did something get misplaced? Make sure that you keep your important documents um, together because you're going to need them. Stay organized because I feel like your mind is just, why am I hearing discombobulated? Your mind is just everywhere, scattered. All right. So some of you, there you could have a house for sale. You could definitely be looking for a new home. And I feel, Pisces, that with this new home, I don't feel like you're moving in alone. <laughs> I feel like somebody wants to move under one roof with you. So, yeah, if you ended a lease, I do feel like there's a new door opening for you. You could definitely be looking for a new home. So there was cheating. And I feel like someone's doing rituals. 
Some of you could definitely be spiritualist. I feel like you could do some type of ritual to maybe bring something back. Some of this, some of you, this could be some type of opposing type of, this could be some type of baneful magic. This is going to be the same for everyone. So please don't everyone cringe and take this in. This is for some. I feel like somebody could have been doing separation spells. Um, yeah. <sighs> to keep you guys apart. Somebody feels that you're still angry, Pisces. Some of you could be on the Aquarius Pisces cusp. Somebody feels that you're still angry, still upset with them, and that you're going to have some very mean things to say, mean-spirited things to say to them. Or perhaps this is something that may have happened. I see a love relationship, or maybe you're feeling a bit impatient for things to turn around. I see a love relationship where there's brokenness. Somebody that you used to date, possibly an earth sign or a Sagittarius. It looks like you are weighing out the pros and cons of the situation. There is, I promise you, there's an abrupt end to a lease. And you may have to be moving. You may need to move because I feel like somebody is selling a property um, for closure. I feel like something may have ended abruptly and it's a very painful ending some of you maybe you did undergo you you did go through a divorce a very painful divorce or this could be something that you're going through right now processing it in your mind and feeling very emotional about it and i feel like you're missing someone something significant could play out for you this month of april something significant may have played out in the fall season for you as well around Halloween season. But anyway, I see a Gemini here for some of you. I see a Capricorn. And I see that somebody doesn't really want to work on this because somebody feels manipulated, manipulated by someone. Could have been a toxic relationship where there were lies and, and pride. Somebody was absolutely full of pride, full of deception. Oh. Somebody here is not confident in their ability to manifest, even though you have the ability to turn water into wine. Pisces, it's like you don't trust this gift. I feel like your gifts are going to be heightened right now. Okay, bear with me as I kind of bounce back because I'm seeing different scenarios coming out through your reading. But now when it comes to a love relationship, or it doesn't even have to be a love relationship, this could be any type of relationship where someone wants to come back and apologize to you. After maybe you felt discarded by them, you felt that they just let you go very easily. I feel that somebody wants to come back and rebuild after being a monster, after being um, very controlling, difficult to deal with. even this could be you i see a bachelor somebody that wanted the bachelor life but i see that right now you don't feel like you're in control of your life you don't feel like you're in control of the direction of your life your circumstances your finances and it's driving you crazy and you have trust issues when it comes to people relationships especially you might be feeling a bit jaded because of the way that you've been hurt and how emotional you might be feeling right now you might be feeling a bit depressed your morale is definitely down you're reminiscing you're thinking about the past and the things that didn't work and someone who could have lied to you it could have definitely been this gemini and i feel like this could either be you looking in the mirror and I don't mean this in a vain way. I'm talking about internally, like really taking a cold, sober, and hard look in the mirror to see yourself, to do some self-reflection, to realize maybe some things that you could possibly change about yourself. If this isn't you, then this could definitely be them, but your confidence is down. Some of you, you are creative writers. You may have a writer's block, but I do see a need for a, a cleanse, a spiritual bath, 
could be very beneficial for you to um, help cleanse this negativity off of you spiritually. Because I don't feel like right now, mentally, you're at your best. You're not bringing your A-game to the table. And it's not that you're not capable of it, Pisces. It's just like I said, your mindset right now is just not where it needs to be. With what with the challenges that you're up against. Don't doubt yourself at all. The answers are within. Somebody does want to come back and communicate with you. It could be more than one person. You might be communicating with people in different areas of your life. It could be about career, over a new career opportunity, over a new direction with your career. You could definitely be getting back into a relationship with somebody. But there's so many things going on in your life right now. And I feel like that's why your reading is jumping from one thing to the next to the next. Because I feel like that's your mindset right now. Jumping from here to here to there. Trying to get a handle on this and get a handle on that. right? Because right now you might not feel that you have control over your life or the situations the way that you prefer to have them be. And it's causing a lot of emotion and a lot of frustration. And maybe it's causing you to isolate yourself. And maybe not practice as much self-care as you normally would. But regardless, I see an earth sign or a fire sign that's coming back to you. You guys are going to get possibly a breakthrough with this communication. To figure out where you're going. Right, This person that you felt, felt didn't prioritize you. Somebody that maybe care too much about other people's opinions. Somebody that made you, I don't know, maybe you felt like you had to compete for your spot in this relationship because this person was here today and gone tomorrow. Like somebody had issues with commitment. This very person may be coming back to communicate with you. And you need to have your head on straight for this. For everything that's going on around you, it's like you're being pelted left and right. Curveballs. Let's see how your cross watcher might be feeling about you at this time. Let's see what they might be going through. They want to communicate with you, this Gemini individual, possibly a Cancerian, could be thinking about you right now. You could be thinking about them, Pisces. Yes, I say they want to communicate with you, they want to bring you a message. There may have been some delays. Maybe they're procrastinating. They're putting it off. Um, they could be, especially some of you, if you were dealing with someone who was in a relationship with someone before and they put you in the middle of a third party. This sounds very similar to the Taurus reading. And I did mention Earth sign. But for some of you, you are, without a doubt, dealing with a Taurus. You're waiting for someone to get a divorce. I feel like that's taking place. A separation from somebody that they were with so that they can come back and talk to you. It might be the information that they're coming to give you that they are now single and available. And um, yeah, what are they bringing to the table? Okay, without a doubt, it's a Gemini for some of you. Someone with Gemini heavily in their chart. Yeah, it could be that somebody is, is um, hit rock bottom. They might be down on their luck. They may need a place to live. Because as I said it before, there was a lease that may have ended abruptly. Somebody may need some money. They may need some help. They may need a loan or a favor. This Sagittarius or somebody with Sag in their chart. They may be working on a creative project and they may need your input on something. I don't know. That may be the case for some of you guys because I did mention a, excuse me, a creative project. So what's going on for the Pisces cross watcher? The cross watcher hasn't moved on from you. Sacrifices. Somebody feels that they made a lot of sacrifices for this relationship. Or perhaps now they're ready to make sacrifices for this relationship. A relationship that was rather one-sided. Or one of you was putting in the investments and the efforts. And the other one wasn't. So you could have made a poor investment. Why am I spending so much time on investment? Yes, emotionally. One of you was, was investing more emotionally than the other one. 
I feel like your cross watcher is completely open, completely willing to be vulnerable. Somebody that bent over backwards for you, they may need your help because they may be going through, uh, yes, a very abrupt change in their life. This could be you Pisces. So that first spread could be could have been all about the, the first person, the cross watcher. Or you could both be Pisces or water sign. Here's a cancer. So there could be a cancerian that could be coming your way that may need your favor with something. Yeah, someone is that's the feel the, the future between the two of you feels absolutely uncertain because somebody doesn't know if they should continue to put forth their effort or they're not sure what game plan to put together about making a, making future plans with you because there is no clarity at this point. They were caught lying in the past and maybe you did put them out. And now I feel like somebody wants to restore this. Absolutely, lovers in the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants this new beginning with you. No doubt. They want a relationship with you. It could be your child that wants to have a relationship with you again. But I feel like for most of you, this is a love relationship. Um, communication. I feel like communication comes in after this. Uh, after you've been waiting a very long time to hear from this person again. Um, things ended on a very bad note. You're still feeling hurt about some things. You're feeling betrayed by this person. And I feel that for some of you, you may be getting a very positive message positive outcome to a situation and I feel like for some of you there's some good news coming in that maybe you didn't see coming somebody left you for someone else and I feel now that they're wanting they're hoping to have a brighter future with you they want to make amends I see that your cross watcher is feeling very guilty they're really thinking about this situation processing their emotions and yeah, maybe going through some depression of their own because they might feel that you are still indeed upset with them. They're thinking about what could possibly go wrong. They're kind of expecting the worst, which is why they've been putting it off. They've been wanting to come and talk to you for the longest time, Pisces. But they don't know that talking to you, communicating you will, with you will make any bit of difference. So they're pretty sure that it's over, that you've completely turned your back. And so now they're kind of stuck. This earth sign is hurting over you, wants a reunion with you and realizes maybe now in hindsight, after doing some self-reflection, realizes just how much they really did hurt you by stepping out on you. How insensitive that they possibly were by doing what it is that they did or saying what it is that they said in the past. You could be dealing with someone with, with health issues, maybe even with drinking, drinking addiction. Somebody uses, um, somebody self-medicates. You feel, and what I mean by that is drinking, over overindulging in, some, in something, overindulging inside relationships, overindulging in, in food and, and any type of escape. It's like somebody's running from their problems rather than talking and looks for other means of escape rather than talking to you directly. And I feel like after all of this running, somebody realizes that they can no longer run and that it is time to face you. And they've been putting it off for a very long time. So now they're coming to terms with that, picking up their feet and putting one foot in front of the other very slowly. But I feel like they're coming to you to talk to you. Let's see how this could possibly go, Pisces. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say to you, the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do they want to say to you, Pisces? Here we go. At the bottom, forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. For whatever happened in the past, the cheating, the lies, the destruction of the relationship, breaking you down, causing insecurities within you, 
they are taking responsibility for that mentally. Whether or not they do it verbally is another thing, but mentally they're taking responsibility for that. They want to come to a peaceful resolution with you. They want to resolve some, some old issues because somebody feels absolutely guilty and hurt about what they did. They want you to trust them again after trust was absolutely broken. Trust was sabotaged here. They want big, happy changes. They want to change the situation. They want to turn this around. They want to start over with you. They do want to get more information. They are very curious about you. They're wondering what's going on with you these days. Are you single? Are you um, willing to forgive them? This getting of more information, this curiosity about you is what's been keeping them at bay for some time. It's like they're saying, I don't really know what to expect. So let me go and talk to you, finally. Let me get this weight off my chest and this worry off my mind and talk to you, finally. To see if you guys can get back on the same page to get more information about whether or not you feel the same. Because for a majority of you guys, this person has no clue, no idea that you may want to start over again. Could be your child that may feel isolated from you, that may feel like you chose other people over them, that may have felt like you may have chosen your addiction over them. And I feel like, yeah, you may come to a peaceful resolution with your own child. To figure things out get clarity with your own child who could be a gemini individual they feel like it's highly unlikely that you want anything to do with them because as i stated i said that somebody still feels angry or someone is assuming that you're still angry with them about something that may have happened now with career we talked about this for just a moment or maybe you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure out a new direction with your career. Maybe you are undergoing some type of discouragement. Spirit is saying, don't stop. Don't be so discouraged that you can't move forward. You have to get up and try again and move past this um, very difficult time for you because you're definitely capable of it. So I see amending of emotions. I see healing, but I'm saying that be patient. Remain calm right now in these times where things feel very uncertain and seem very up in the air. Because it looks like this person is feeling very similar to you. Assuming a lot of the things that you might be assuming. But you'll never know until you speak up. You know what they say about assumptions, right? Yeah. So I feel like somebody wants to come out of that very difficult place with you. They no longer want to assume. They just want to know for themselves. So what is the advice for the Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this has been going on for a very long time. Pisces. Like this seems to be the same reading over and over again. So I feel like... Um, I don't know you guys may have been going down the same road over and over again or someone is just thinking and thinking over and over again but not acting yep absolutely i see a favorable outcome coming in for you some of you that are looking for a home i feel like you're going to see success with that some of you that may have started a business or you're not sure if you want to start a business if this is the right time to do it it looks like it is because I got the chariot card. So I feel like, yes, it's time to go full speed ahead toward the very thing the spirit is guiding you to do. To not shuffle, shuffle your feet. To not delay. To not put things off. Holy Spirit, the advice for Pisces. Single. Surrender to complete healing. Absolutely, Pisces. So that you can invite in the right people. Attract the right people into your life. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. This is maybe right now why you might be in isolation or why you might have a lot of time on your hands. Because it looks like it's time to do some inner work 
right? We talked about transformation being the crossing energy and answers within being the overall energy. It's like you don't trust yourself. You don't trust yourself to make the right decisions and the right moves. Change may be very difficult for you and spirit is getting you to trust yourself and go through a healing process to get you prepared for what's coming in next. What's at the bottom of the deck for you is surrender to wonder and awe. Absolutely, Pisces. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. And I feel like the blessings don't stop coming, but it has everything to do with what's in here. It's like spirit wants to pour out a blessing to you, but you're blocking your own blessings. And this is why spirit is saying to get out of that place of frustration and looking around and like, where is my blessing? When is my turn coming? It's there. It's always been there for you, but you may not realize you may not be realizing that you could be standing in your own way. So Spirit is saying it's time to heal this for once and for all so that you can get the blessings that are truly coming to you. The Spirit has been trying to hand you all along. So with that, Pisces, this concludes your general reading with Angelic Ascension. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can head over to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. The link is also below in the description box. If you found that this reading was helpful to you in any way, feel free to leave a thumbs up below. Consider leaving a comment. And also consider subscribing if you already haven't. And if you decide to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get the notification of when I do upload. So you can be, yeah front and center when I do um, upload these videos. So with that, Pisces, it's been great. I wish you guys nothing but the absolute best. We'll be talking again soon. Peace, Pisces. I'll see you guys again in the next video.